In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at the global namespace. So global namespace basically consists of objects that are available to all node applications. Over here, when we go into the REPL mode, let me type node and press enter. So here, we saw this in previous lectures. When we typed global and press enter, you'll see the list of all global objects that are there. And over here, if I declare a variable, for instance, sample equals this is global and press enter. After that, I say global and press enter again. You'll notice the last line is having our variable as well in the global scope. Now, one thing we have to make very clear is just by defining a variable as a global does not make it global. For instance, here I have a file where we have a variable called data which is definitely global and here we have function set and get. We are making use of exports which make these functions available to any application that include this file using the require global object. So over here, let's save this and go back to our REPL environment. Now, if I declare a variable where test equals require and here, let's pass the file that we created that is global object dot js and semicolon press enter after this let's make use of the set function that we had over there so we'll say test dot set and let's enter a number 100 and then let's go for test dot get and here press enter again you'll see 100 being printed over here now if I go for global and press enter, you see the sample variable that we earlier declared. You are also seeing the test that we just now exported using the require global object and it is showing that it has got set and get function. But the variable data that we had over here is not in the global scope because it's global only in this file. So that's the difference that I wanted to show about the global variables that we have. So anything that we enter in the REPL environment remains in the global scope. But if it's coming from some file, for instance, in this case, sam global object.js, the variables that are defined inside a file are not included. The variables that are defined inside the file as global variables are not included in the global namespace.